Morning, folks. Life always takes and throws challenges at you. Um, logistically speaking, uh, we had a bunch of horses scheduled to, to trim today, and I guess everybody's got other plans. So you got to always have a backup plan for whatever plan you have for the day. Uh, and I think one of the best uh, practices you can have is always have a plan. Uh, it may not necessarily work out, but you, you always want to have a plan so that you've got some kind of direction. I always let, you know, things happen the way they happen. I, I, I always pray God's will in my life but i always start out with some kind of direction um and i've always got a backup plan just in case so uh, when everything changed up we're gonna head and go pick up some some t posts maybe some gates um for that job we've been working out there which i affectionately call god's country uh it's it's on the back side of nowhere over there but always have a plan but don't be afraid to let the plans change. Don't be so married to it that you can't change it. Um, I try to take and get the most out of a day. Um, logistically, uh, when we go to town, try and take and get everything you need so that you don't have to make an extra trip to town. A trip to town for us costs us about $40 in fuel. So um, we try to get everything we can get in one trip. And and that's, that's what we're doing today. So... One thing didn't work out, we're going to go do another thing and try to make the best of the day. So I'm not sure what else is going to happen today, but I'm going to go down here and I'm going to feed everything, make sure everything's good before we head out. And uh, we're going to go get some material. We'll see what the day brings us. Got quite a bit of this um, mallow weed growing. Got some... Indian paintbrush growing. The dandelions are coming up here on the, here on the homestead. All different kinds of flowers growing up. We got a little bit of rain Saturday. Um, hopefully, we're going to get some more rain this weekend. We'll see a lot more wildflowers coming up. The girls are. Get along pretty good with little old Whitey. Uh, call him Whitey. Uh, he was in there with the with the other baby, uh, new baby chicks. Um, they've grown up quite a bit, and that other rooster beat up on him quite a bit. I knew he was going to have to do something. I took and I turned him out with the girls, and they were kind of standoffish for a while, but old Philly and Delphine have, have got uh, used to him, and he's hanging out with them pretty good. They are eating a lot of seeds off of these plants and a lot of blooms off these plants, particularly the grass. So I, I kind of spoil them. I feed them anyway, but they're doing really well. They've managed to stay alive all this time. So I think we've got our predator uh, problem fairly well under control. Chickens are doing good. They like to take baths. That, that, that one there is in the water. Probably have to change that water today because of that. Come on. Boys are doing really well. It's starting to be fly season. Uh, they're about overweight. They need to trim. Both of them are a little long. But they are 
really doing good on this Bermuda hay. And one of the things that is really hard, people always ask me about feeding regiments and stuff like that. Your feeding regiment, your feeding regiment really has to be uh, fluid. Uh, you have to look at the condition of the animals. You see these guys, um, get over here, you can see them. They're both really in good flesh. They've got good uh, top lines. The cowboy's showing his age a little bit. He's, he's a little bit more thinner up on top, but you can see how fat he is. Um, they're not getting rode. I'm riding, you know, when I can, when I have the time. Um, we're so busy right now during the summer. Uh, but it'll slow down, and I'll, I'll get to work them and get them in shape. Cowboy, he, he really needs work. Uh, once school's out, Anna works for the local school system. Uh, once school's out, she'll be out here riding Cowboy a lot more. He's going to get a lot more exercise. Um, you have to look at the condition of the animal. That's part of stockmanship. You can't just say feed this many flakes of this, this many pounds of this, and this many pounds of this. During the winter, I usually have a protein tub in here and I supplement with total equine um, because it, it keeps them in good good weight. I don't feed it all the time. Uh, if I've got hay that is not as nutritious, this is just Bermuda hay. Uh, it, it's doing really good with them. You, you look at them, they're, they're just in really good health. Uh, they're, they're a little bit overweight. Uh, I have cut back a little bit on this hay and that's all part of it. You know, if I normally feed four flakes, you know, and I see they're doing well and they're putting on too much weight, I'll, I'll drop that down. Um, the next load of hay I get, if it's, uh, you know, not as nutritious, then I might take and put a protein tub out here. Uh, I might start supplementing, you know, uh, with some total equine. I really like total equine for that, for that fact as a supplement feed. Um, but they're, they're looking really good. And, you know, that's part of learning stockmanship and learning how to uh, feed animals. It's not about a regiment. It's, it has to, stay, uh, has to stay fluid. You have to look at the animals. How are the animals doing? How are they, you know, maintaining weight how are they uh as far as health wise goes when i take and i trim their feet i look at their their feet uh see how they're doing i look at their gums their eyes these guys are looking really good on just bermuda hay um you know if you have a horse that's kind of thin you're not going to feed the same way i do if you have a horse that struggles in some areas you're not going to feed it like i do uh you're going to feed you're going to feed it different uh, if i have a horse in here you know, I get one in and it has trouble maintains weight. I may supplement it all the time. You've got to stay fluid when it comes to feeding any animal. Uh, the dogs, the sheep, the chickens. I look at everything every day. Uh, it's not just about feeding and watering. It's about taking and really keeping an eye out for problems. Uh, noticing the differences in your animals every day. Um, you know, if I have a horse that maybe having some gut issues and I start seeing that, then I might add a little bit of oil to their diet for a little while. Uh, but it's always fluid. It's not, this is what we feed and this is all we feed. So uh, I'm gonna get back after it. Let the dogs out for a, for a little bit. Hey, Cash. <laughs> you good boy. Uh, let them out for a run this morning. Leave a chickens alone, Duke. <laughs> I'm going to get back after it.
Morning, baby. All right, folks, I want to take just a second here, talk to my beautiful bride. Uh, Y'all have always asking, why well, ain't Polly on camera more? So I'm all putting her on the spot. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, after four years of being here and five years of owning the place and the whole journey it took to get here, uh, if y'all are not familiar, it was quite the journey. Uh, go back and watch some of our older videos. Um, what are your thoughts? Do you think we're making progress? Are you, you know, we of course we always want to move faster than what we're fat, than what we're moving. But yeah. what's your thoughts? <laughs> have, have do you are you still like living here are you still yes, i still like living here i do Good. i just wish we'd had a, a house to by now yeah by now yeah after being here circumstances are circumstances <laughs> yeah but i still like like living here the the progress we've made on the place you know looking at looking back you know i go back and i watch some of the videos from four years ago three years ago and the the changes that we've made here on the place and and a lot of things are just a uh, in a state of construction all the time or, mm. or a state of confusion is what I like <laughs> to say. but we, we're, we're constantly bringing stuff in to, to to build things and and we try to improve things here on the homestead and and uh sometimes it can get it can get dawning it, it, it can get uh to where you're, you're impatient because you want to do more than, than you can do or that funds allow. So yeah. I just want to check in with you. Let the folks at home know yeah. what's going on. The, the you, you still like living way out here in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, I do. I do. I love it. Yeah. The, the community that we have developed, you know, with people moving in and people who have been here and uh, friendships that we have that we've taken and cultivated um I, i'm really thankful for those uh we we've got some some good folks around us yes. uh we've got some good folks that you know uh live in town and and we we've cultivated some relationships and um i think i think we're still doing pretty good i i hope to have a a house by the time i'm 50 um getting kind of tight that was my goal when when we started uh and and the timeline's getting <laughs> getting a lot yeah, slimmer getting close. so um <laughs> we're hoping we're hoping um it's just one of those things when you live on a homestead there's a lot of maintenance there's a lot of things just to keep going uh you know the it's if, if we could just take all of our money and put it into the homestead we'd have a house by now oh yeah but you have vehicles that break down you have expenses uh you have expenses in keeping livestock you, 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 there's just a lot of things that you know sometimes we buy things and set them back and we don't get to use them for a while and that money you know we, we look at it and we go man where'd that money go but it's it's sitting there in batteries or it's sitting there in lumber it's sitting there in metal and mm -hmm. sometimes it's it's uh it's challenging so take every day one day at a time and just keep moving forward. That's that's my advice to anybody wanting to do this. Don't get in too big a hurry. It'll eventually happen. It eventually happen. Yeah. Lord willing. Lord willing, the <laughs> creek don't rise. rise. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, we made it to town. Got uh, materials. Got some gates. 
and I got a new bander. I'm gonna band this goat over there. I'm gonna take and show you guys this. This one's bigger. This is for bigger. Um, cheap, bigger tabs, stuff like that. So I'm gonna get this thing going and then Miss Polly can run the camera while I band this joker. These bands, they're just a really strong rubber band. I've got some in there, but they're kind of old. I mean, there's a hundred of them in here. So, and they're not that expensive. It's like three bucks for for a hundred. And uh, you just take and roll this over top. And they do make bigger bands, but um, for these, you don't need it. They will stretch out. I have gotten some bad bands that will break um but for the most part these work really good you just get them on there and then just take that and you stretch it just like that you get it up on the scrotum of the animal and you let it go so i'm gonna leave these i'll put these in my pocket no I better not might lose them. All right, so we got this loaded. Um, I'm gonna have Polly run the uh, camera and I'm gonna hog tie this guy and band him. And in a few short weeks, he'll be a weather. So, here we go. Careful, don't let him butt you. <laughs> Come here. Come here, big boy. He's stout, ain't he? He's stout. What's his name? Billy. I called him all kinds of <laughs> Oh my god. Maybe you need me in there, eh? I got him. I got him. You got him. Yeah, I need to trim his feet too. Oh my god, yeah. Where's your tools at? They're up there. Oh. So, generally I'll hog time. He's there. Was just me doing it one by myself. Uh, I'll do a rap. Uh, 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 and I'll do it. Trying to get it on their toes. Do a rap there. Uh,
Maybe I need a, a, a bowl. There's two of them. Uh -huh. How do you release it? Just push it down. Okay. I always try to roll it down so they don't have a. Alrighty. Get up there, buddy. Huh. Oh, silly guy. Hey. Calm down. You're all right. The thing I like about hog tying with, with a. Ouch, boy, he bit me. <laughs> <laughs> that joker bit me. Look at my shirt. <laughs> He bit me, little sucker. The thing I like about hog time with the hay twine is I can just cut it off and I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> oh, get up. <laughs> Careful, he might butt you. <laughs> Well, give him a few weeks, he'll be a weather, and then we can eat him. <laughs> he's good and fat anyway. This is the right size of these pygmies for a weekend barbecue, something like that. Uh, take and grill them. They're good, cooked in apple juice and orange juice. Uh, make some good carnitas out of them. <laughs> oh, he bit me. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, I'm going to end this video up right here. Uh, I will say we had a little few complications this week. Our GoPro camera uh, stopped working. I do have this camera. It is a bigger camera. It shoots a little bit better resolution, but the picture is not as stable. There's not a lot of stabilization um, in the filming of it, so some of the footage will be kind of bouncy and jerky and it's it's not for my type of a video and it's it's not as good because i'm just kind of a run and gun type videoer and a gopro does better for me um i am down here at the gas station so i'm watching everything going on here we are doing uh laundry today miss polly's in there doing laundry i thought i'd grab this camera and end the video because i didn't get it out on friday i'm gonna try to get it out uh tonight uh for first thing monday morning and i will try to use this camera um this camera i have used it in the past but mostly for steals and for uh, doing involved stuff where uh, I've got two or three cameras rolling so I'm just gonna end this video up I do have about three more videos worth of footage from the week before that I'll try to incorporate and I'll just shoot some closings here on them uh, and maybe even do some talking about them um, for my type of like I say for my type of format and this camera just does not really uh go well with it a gopro does a whole lot better so until i get a new gopro my format may change a little bit because 
I can't drag this camera around like um, a GoPro and just throw it up and, and catch stuff here and there. Um, it's just, it, it's not a very stable camera. With that being said, I'm going to end this video up. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate all of our subscribers. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Uh, share us on social media, whatever your platforms are. Um, we are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. Um, those are the two that, that we do the most on there in YouTube. So share us around. Recommend us uh, if you like our content. All righty. So if you don't know which way to go in this old world, Commit your ways unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He'll bring it to pass. We'll see you later.